Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the International Conference on the Conservation and Use of Socioeconomically Important Plants in the Fertile Area. In Jordan, we have been blessed in having a high plant diversity rate for our small size, whereby we have over 2,500 plants. Of those, quite a few are important crop wild relatives, and just under 20% are of medical and cosmetic value. Yet we have so much more to learn and to discover, as is told in the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa ayatun lahum al-fadl min malikatu al-ahayna wa akhrajna minha haqqa fa minhu yakulu. Wa ja'alna fiha jannata min nakhila wa anana wa fajjarna fiha min al-ayu. Liyakulu min thamari wa ma'amilatu al-aydiha afala yashkuru. Subhanak nabi khalaqa al-azwaja kullaha mimma tunbitu al-arz wa min al-fuzidu wa mimma la ya'lawu. Sadaqallah. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Let the dead earth be a sign for them. We give it life and we produce from its grain firm babies. We made in its gardens of date palms and vines and we cause springs to gush forth, that they might eat of its fruits. It was not their hands that laid them. Will they not give thanks? Holy is he who created all things in pairs, whether it be of what the earth produces and not of themselves, and what and of what they do not know. So Yet we can how can we discover the unknown if we are losing our ecosystems so rapidly? Which for a country like Jordan that suffers from being one of the most water poor nations in the world, it is not something that we can take lightly. It is unfortunate that due to poor management of our lands, increasing urbanization and insufficient research, our flora is suffering. Amplify that with the course of climate change and we have a dire situation. Now going on from personal experience, we have witnessed the degradation in our plant diversity and whole ecosystems at an alarming rate. There are vast areas which were once prolific in plants have now been stripped bare. Thus the Royal Botanic Garden of Tello Ruman took upon itself to remediate the situation. Our goal is far bigger than just an exhibit space for plants. We see all of Jordan as our botanic garden. And therefore, as the advocates of plants, we embarked on this long journey to identify, quantify, and hopefully recover our plant diversity to what it once was, or at least close to it. Now, taking sides with our base, we realize that this effort must be both at the national, regional, and international level. During the training, we stretched our capacity to include other regional countries as well, so they can benefit too, because in conservation, it does not know any borders. But in every and each step that we took along the way, we have involved all stakeholders. This includes international and all of the local experts, local communities, and most importantly, our elders. But we deem it just as important to collect and document our traditional knowledge from our elders as it is to sift through the vast quantities of data which was repatriated from across the globe. Not only is the scientific data valuable, but it also the heritage associated with our plants is just as important. Our elders have been the keepers of this heritage. They know their plants, 
and they know their uses, be it for medicating themselves or their livestock, cultural rituals, or even for their daily sustenance. The latter is going to become one of the most critical issues that our leaders have to address. How are we to feed our people? Food security and climate migration, ladies and gentlemen, are like a gloomy cloud overcasting the future. But it does not have to be so. If we truly focus our efforts on conserving our world's heritage, whereby we restore ecosystems into healthy, thriving, and productive by diverse systems, we have nothing to fear. Accordingly, the important work we are doing today is actually like stocking up the pantry of future generations. It is our duty we must uphold, and that which will define the legacy we leave behind. So I would like to end with a very appropriate saying, which is cited by Al-Bukhari, of our most beloved prophet, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There is none among the believers who plants the tree or sows the seed, and that a bird or a person or even an animal eats thereof, but it is regarded as having given a charitable gift for which there is great recompense. And as I would like to thank everyone and each and every person who worked to uh, get this conference together throughout the year. And I know I've been quite um, daunting on you sometimes, and pressurizing you, but I do thank you. And I wish you all the best for this conference. And I look forward to seeing you at the World Center Garden, inshallah. Thank you.